Okay, what is the size of your chest? 58. Well, what do you know about that? that that's exactly how tall I am. <laughs> well, give us the rest of your dimensions. Well, my upper arm flex is 22 and a half. The chest, like I say, is 58. Waist, 45. Thigh, 36. Calf, about 20. That's not a cat. That's a whole cow. I guess. After he won the Olympics, uh, he had an agent, and he tried several things. And he would not advertise whiskey or cigarettes or things like that. When I met him, he was wrestling. That wrestling game. He did... Uh, wrestling, and uh, that was an awfully hard life. During the time he was wrestling, I would go with him occasionally, but I'd sit in the car because he didn't want me in those places. And he was not happy doing that. And I'm sure it was God's call on his heart. So then he decided maybe he would box. And he boxed for a little while, won a couple of boxing matches. He did do a nightclub act for a while in Las Vegas at a hotel out there. He made a movie, Once Upon a Horse. Uh, it was a Rowan and Martin film. A kind of cute slapstick movie. He was the blacksmith in the movie. Oh. <laughs> you have muscles in places where most men don't even have places. <laughs> but he did a lot of TV work. He was on the Ed Sullivan Show some three or four times. George Goebel, Gary Moore, I've Got a Secret. He was on all of those. You think you could whip a whole army barehanded the way Samson did with the Philistines? Well, no, the way I understand it, he had the uh, help of a uh, jawbone of an ass. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Look, if you think you're going to get me to help you, you're badly. <laughs> Take your coat off and show us your muscles? Well, I don't know. Lydia, you don't mind if no, you take not part a bit. of his clothes off. I'm never a weightlifter and, uh, and a, a muscle uh, beat. Bodybuilder, yeah, that's oh. exactly right. Well, take your shirt off, too. Oh, no, that's. No? <laughs> no? So his agent was getting him booked, but he didn't like the lifestyle. And it just wasn't who he was. And that day and time, if you were on a TV show or did anything with another professional even, you would lose your amateur status. And he couldn't make any money. And he started just doing mainly speaking. As I come here to lift for you, I'm just presenting what God has given me.